Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. And this is a 64-year-old male with complaints of knee pain just for a few days after a fall. He did not have a fracture or a meniscus tear or anything that bad, but he did have just a minor bone bruise back here in the back of the tibia. This may have even been from a prior injury and there may be some residual myoedema, but really nothing all that significant. But he did have another finding that is related to an ACL repair. So this is darkness in the femur. Here's the femur to get oriented. There's a little splotch of darkness. And this is where the ACL graft, which goes obliquely through the joint, is attached to the femur. That looks totally normal. We see the ACL graft coming obliquely. It's not torn, but it's a little thick and irregular. And on this view, it just is ill-defined. So this is something that we would call graft degeneration. It's just a thick, irregular, abnormal signal, but not ruptured. Down here, we see another area of darkness within the tibia. This is the tibial tunnel where they attach the distal aspect of the graft. Again, so no ACL rupture, but it does not look quite normal. And the other finding, which is uh, why I'm showing the video, is related to an area of abnormal signal in front of the graft. So the graft comes obliquely through here, it looks abnormal, and in front we see this, looks like a tongue-like projection of this intermediate signal right here. Above it is a little triangle of fluid right here. This is the fluid in the anterior knee joint. This is the cartilage of the anterior femur, a little triangular fluid collection, and this gray thing here, or dark area, this is Hoffa's fat pad, a little fatty area beneath the kneecap. And so the abnormality is this little tongue-like projection here. And we can see it on this view here, even better. And this is an area of what we call arthrofibrosis. It's a fibrotic response that may be related to some of the ACL graft fibers that are torn and flipped anteriorly. Um, that's one theory behind it, but patients develop this area of fibrosis or inflammation here in the front. And this may limit knee extension. The tibia comes down here, and as the knee tries to go forward, there's mass effect from this arthrofibrosis in the front, and it may limit the full knee extension. And this is the area right here, and again right here. So this is a, a rare complication seen in patients with ACL reconstruction. Supposedly it can also be seen with people who have meniscus tears, can rarely get something like this. But this is a fairly classic case of arthrofibrosis associated with a prior ACL reconstruction.